Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to discuss how can we use the Rockwell controller, PLC, Compact Logics, and use the Ethernet IP communication to change over switch the program inside the Kins IV2 camera. And in this camera, we set up the program 0, program 5, program 7, and uh, program 8. From practical view, a machine could inspect multiple parts. And to inspect the different parts, we need to change over. In the vision system, different program number can be related to the actual part variant, different part number. So once the part variant need to change over, camera program can be also switched. Then to switch the camera job number or program number, we can use the PLC, send the job number, and then send the, the switch trigger command and to switch the program number inside the camera. And in the previous video, I introduced how can we use uh, Compact Logics to set up the Ethernet communication and how we can trigger this camera and how we can register the results from this camera. And in this video, I will based on the previous project and set up the switch over program and trigger this programming change here. And the important information talking about this uh, program switch over. So we need to download two important uh, menu. So if we go to the Keyens website, go to the menu and search one is this IV2 series user menu field network. And one is IV2 series user menu control panel. And because we are using the Ethernet IP, using the network communicate with the PLC and the IV2. So firstly, we need to figure out by using the Ethernet IP, which tag is used to set the programming number and which bit is used to trigger this programming change. So according to the IV2 series user menu field network, let's go to the date allocate in the cyclic communication. This section, this is the tag list, the signal from the IV2 to the PLC. So as we can see, this bit two program switching response and the program switching failed, they are feedback from this uh, programming switch. And if we scroll down here, this 16 and the 17, and they are the current program number. And the current program number, if we go back to here, the program number represent this number P000, P001234. They are this number. The entire programs in this camera it has uh, 32 programs. And this is the feedback signal from the IV2 to the PLC. And to control the IV2 program switch, we can find out the output assembly here. And there are 12 bytes here. This bit two, that is the program switching request. If this bit turn on, it will trigger the program switch. And also this, the byte four and the five, that is the program number setting. And regarding the Ethernet IP, as we discussed from the previous video, the communication between the PLC and IV2, I'm using the integer, the unit, the other integer. So we can see from this tag list, all those data are based on the integer. There are 16 bits here. Take care here. In the menu, this unit, they are the bytes. But when we build up the Ethernet communication, the basic unit, they are the integer, 16 bits here. So when we line up this uh, address, we must uh, very carefully about this. So this tag list, we can download from this website and download this file, iv2 tag file from Ethernet IP. We can download this file. As we discussed from the previous video, we need to use this uh, tag list and set up the UDT in the RS Logic 5000 or Studio 5000 and set up this UDT structure and set up the communication tag between the PLC and uh, the camera. This is the camera signal to PLC. It has a uh, 392 bytes. And this is the signal from PLC to the camera. It has a uh, 12 bytes, six integers. As we just talked, the program number we need to set to the camera. That number, that is an integer number, it is here. And the trigger signal, when it's turned on to trigger the program switch, that is this, 
program switch request. So now this IV2, a current program that is a zero. So firstly, let's switch to this IV2 to run mode. Okay, let's manually toggle the tag in the PLC and let's see if this program can be switched. Now come here. So firstly, let's check out if the current program number can be read from this tag. This is the signal feedback from the camera, camera to PLC. Let's scroll down. Let's find out the current program. So this tag, that is uh, the current program number. Now it is zero. And because my program inside the IV2, it has a five, seven, and eight. So I can set the program number at a five here. That is the integer number. And now this uh, current program is still zero because I haven't triggered this uh, program switch yet. So if I trigger this program switch, so we will see this number gonna change. Let's go back to the camera side. Now we can see the current program running inside the IV2 is switched to the program five. So that means using this way, using this communication, we can switch this uh, IV2 program. And next, let me show how can we use the letter logic to trigger this program change. Let's go to the IV2 camera. Scroll down. We will start the program from here. So let me add a run. So to switch over the program number in the IV2, we need to prepare the program number first and then trigger that switch over program and trigger that program switch request a bit. So firstly, we need to move an integer number to that program number setting. So we need to use the move. And this target, that is a PLC to camera, expand and That is this, the PLC to camera set this uh, programming number. That programming number setting, this. And the source, that can come from an integer number inside the PLC. So for example, we can set a new tag here. So we can name it IV2. And this tag, we can create this tag as an integer. Okay, and then we need uh, some timing at here to trigger the program switch. Regarding the timing chart, so we need to use this menu, IV2 Serious Users menu, Field Network, and then we need to go to the chapter and the section, Operating Procedure of the Cyclic Communication, and find out the program switch here, switching the programs. And at here, we will see this is a program number we need to set. And we need to trigger this program switching request signal. This is the output from PLC to camera. And this signal need to turn on till we receive this program switching response. So if turn this uh, switching request off before this uh, program switching response turn on, so it will cause some problem here. Here, the point explain this. We need to take care of this. So that means we can latch in this uh, program switching request. And once we receive this program switching response turn on, we can turn this uh, switching request to off. So let's shift to the PLC side and let me show how can we program this. Add a run here. And firstly, I will use this uh, comparison and only the setting and uh, the current program, they are not the same. So we will trigger this program switch. So firstly, let me go to compare and compare the difference, not equal. So if the current program, the current program come from the feedback camera to PLC and let's scroll down. And this is the current program number here. And comparing with this setting, if they are not the same, so we can use one signal, that is the trigger signal. So we can set up 
iv2 set up a new tag I used to send the trigger command here okay and now and also we can evolve the camera shouldn't be in a busy mode so scroll down camera to plc the camera is not in busy mode and at here we can add a trigger ons one short so and we need to set up a new tag here ons okay we need to create a new tag for this command set up as a controller tag and this ons also we need to set up Okay, and the output and the output that is the switching request. So that is the PLC two camera, and we need to turn this program switching request on. Also, we need to latch in this signal. And then until we get this uh, response. So that response come from the camera to PLC. That is uh, the program switching response. Okay. So using this, we can also see the current program number. And this is our setting. Okay. So let me save and download this program. Okay, now our current program running inside the IV2, the number is seven. So we set a zero first. And now if I trigger this signal, so we will see it switch to zero. So this switching is very quick. So let's turn it off. And now let's set a number five and watch here. And if I turn this trigger on, so it will switch to five very quick. And now let's go to the IV2 navigator and check out if the current IV2 is running number five program. And we can see the current program is running number five now. Okay, if I set zero. So now it's still number five. So we need to re-trigger it. So once we re-trigger, we will see it switch to the zero. Okay. And once it switch to zero, let's trigger this camera. And let's present the part and let's trigger this sequence to trigger this camera. Okay. So let's scroll down. So we can see the sequence complete. And this camera got a fail results. Okay, let's go to the IV2. As we can see now, it's running number zero program. And because I load one bad part here, so it checked the bad here. So that means this program switch is cracked and the trigger is working. All right, this is the program to change over the program inside the IV2. And this menu, the Vision IV2 series user menu field network this switching the program is very important. Highly recommend you read the detail for this page. Okay, that is for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.